Alright guys, so this, um, if you guys like uh, like Factorio, I'm trying to think of these other kind of automation, building, colony, management games, uh, it's called Desynced, um, and it actually works really well. Um, Top-down game, uh, it does have, it does say it has gamepad support, but um, you'll see me kind of failing at the start trying to use um, my PS5 controller, I'm not sure what that is. Um, but actually... Keyboard and mouse works really well with this because you can kind of uh, tilt up and it's kind of a slower pace. Also, the depth of field is really quite nice. Um, normally, I'm disabling it just because it does depend where your camera is. And if you make a custom offset, it can be a bit weird. But actually, it works really well here. Um, and you can see where you're selecting because there's a little green highlighted box on like the, the grid that you're looking at. So um, even if you kind of moved some of the UI around, it's not super uh, necessary because you can always see where you're kind of supposed to be highlighting. Um, the UI, of course. So with this, actually, a lot of games in this kind of genre, the mouse cursor is kind of hidden. Um, but there's an option in UEVR to um, toggle the cursor to be always visible or you can map it to a, a button so i've mapped it to tab um just to, to see it but i think actually when i'm playing this you will just want it always visible um yeah this works really well performance is really good uh, i'm not quite sure when it gets like to a huge factory but i was at all high settings 3k by 3k 90 hertz i didn't even set my thing to 72 hertz in preparation so it seemed pretty good um i think it's on sale right now um, it's in early access uh, looks like they're adding updates at a pretty good pace so yeah, if you like satisfactory factorio uh these kind of games i think this is uh, one to put on your radar You will need to establish a small mining facility in order to proceed with ship repairs. This will be your primary objective. Communications are currently limited, so one of the first things you will need to do is to establish an uplink from ground level. Try to find metal and crystal deposits, as we will need them for repairs.
Established a connection to the surface, and I have already begun synchronizing our databases. With this, we are now able to research new technology from the. Technology. 